hello, hello, and welcome to the second episode of Bitchin' in the Kitchen with me, Naomi Shimada. So let me introduce you to today's hot bitches. First up, we have supermodel and general all-round gangster, Miss Claudia Adams. We're lucky enough to have two bling hustlers in the house tonight. First up, we have Miss Amber Atherton from My Flash Trash and Rachel Kaplan from Boutique by Susan Kaplan. Where are bitches at? So how many of you have hit those dirty ass chicken stores late at night for a midnight snack? I know most of you have. So we're gonna do something better than that. Today I'm gonna be making cornflake chicken, a recipe that has been in my family for generations. It's totally easy to follow. Might sound a bit weird, but once you try it, I know you'll be hooked. So for today's dish, the ingredients are pretty simple. We've got about 500 grams of chicken breast, cleaned, 150 grams of flour. What have you got, girl? You got about 300 grams of cornflakes. 300 grams of cornflakes. Today I've used crunchy nut, but you can use normal cornflakes too, or a bit of both. Mix it up a little bit. We got eggs. I'll probably use about four eggs for this, and a bit of salt and pepper to, you know, for the flavor. And that's really it. So the directions are pretty foolproof. You just dip the chicken in everything. So let's go ahead and break the eggs. What you want in your wings, girl? What you want in your wings, girl? The flour first. Then dip it in the eggs. You can't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty. What I forgot to say about the cornflakes is that we need the pieces to be smaller. So however you want to break them up a bit, either in the bag the cereal comes in, or in a plastic bag, or be inventive. It's some hot sauce. There we go. So you just completely cover the piece. So I've got the chicken frying here on medium heat, just because if you cook it too high, it'll burn too quickly and it won't have, it'll just be burned on the outside. The cornflakes will burn and it just won't taste good. So make sure you've got the heat on quite low. And don't be afraid to turn it down real low and turn it back up again if you don't see it's cooking. So basically you just have to keep a good eye on what's going on. As soon as it goes this kind of toasty golden color, flip it to the other side and then turn that heat real low. So you want both sides to look kind of like that. Nice and cool. So on the show, we're all about making food fun. So we're gonna try a little thing called food jam. Today's musical guest, hailing from New Zealand, we're honored to have Conan Moccasin. Bang, bang, scissor, scissor, bang, bang. Bang, bang, scissor, scissor, bang, bang. Bang, bang, scissor, scissor, bang, bang. Make sure you wash your hands first. So they're so fresh and so clean. 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 So fresh and so. Cause you don't want cancer bacteria. You don't want salmonella. 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 Dip it in the flour, baby. How do we like it? How do we like it? 
like it? How do we like it? How do we like it? Much, much, scissors, scissors, crunch, crunch. 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 The chicken's done. It's time to eat. Crunch, crunch. Munch, munch. Munch, 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 munch. Open wide and I'll give you a bite. Mm -mm. A bite chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've come to the end of our show. As you can see, the chicken's done. Um, what's the feedback, ladies? Uh, delicious. No campylobacter. No campylobacter and no salmonella. <laughs> This has been Bitchin' in the Kitchen. Come join us for more fun next month.